Hello everyone, it's Robin here, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome to summer, woohoo! It is officially here, so I can say that now, although I did say I'd be saying it all week. I am really excited about summer. I love the seasonal changes. Now, I used to live in Southern California, and while we had our seasons there, when I moved to the Midwest, or I'm in Illinois, so I don't know, that's in the center, and up a little bit, I don't know. We get all the seasons, and I'm really excited about that. Well, today, we'll be making a planner page for my new creative journal that I just put together. I'll link that video down below if you didn't see it, but I have all the goodies here. I have sticker books, I have scrapbook paper, and my new journal, and I'm really excited about it. We'll be adding a seasonal summer vibes bucket list to it. Oh, gosh, that's so much fun. So I love adding the seasonal vibes to my day-to-day -day life, for sure, and this bucket list, so to speak, will help do that because I'll be talking about summer activities, summer books, summer movies, and summer TV shows. And this is a place that I can go to when I want to add that extra seasonal element to my day to day. So I'm super excited about this. I hope you are too. So let's just flip the camera down and get this season started. I always love a good craft project for my planner, that's for sure. And I have my new creative journal that I just pieced together and made it seasonal, which makes me even more excited to do this seasonal summer vibes bucket list. So I'm gonna set her aside right here for just a moment and show you all the things I'll be using. So I have some scrapbook paper and um, I've already cut it down to size. I'll explain that when we get to it, but I thought this was very summery. It's really pretty. It's white on one side and it's all scrapbooky cute on the other side. I have another smaller piece and I'll get into that as we get into it. I'll be using some washi tape as well as I have some books here. Oh yeah, super fun. I have two sticker books from Happy Planner. I have the large seasonal book here, which is really fun. And then I have the summer sticker book right here. So we'll get ourselves into that as well as some stickers from my Etsy shop. These are the Summer Vibes bucket list stickers. I have one for each season and it covers um, summer vibes, it has bucket lists, fun goals, but it covers summer books, activities, movies, and TV shows. Also travel, so if there's some travel that you want to do in the summer, we have that too. So this is what we'll be doing today. I have some of the colorful retro TVs, which are super adorable, and some of the film strip boxes, and I'll be using all of this to create this fun summer vibes DIY project page for my planner. So I just really can't wait. Let's get going. So I have these scrapbook papers here that I've already cut down, and I cut them down to a happy planner size. So it's seven by nine and a quarter, but you do see a little lip here. There's three quarters of an inch here that I folded over because I want some of the design to hit on the inside as well. So um, I did that and I punched it already. And I also have this, this is a six inch square and it's got some design on one side and it's plain on the other side. And I'll be using this kind of in the center to house my summer sticker as well as uh, some other fun things. Kind of like a Dutch door situation if you're used to bullet journaling. So I wanna go ahead and tape this down. Um, and while I'm doing that, talk a little bit about that is gummy. <laughs> Talk a little bit about what I'm planning here. So as I mentioned, I really like to add uh, seasonal elements to my day-to-day -day life. And I, this is a fun place to house some of those ideas. And we'll be talking about books and TV shows and movies and activities for sure. Now this isn't a full-on bucket list of everything that I definitely am going to do, but it's it's kind of an idealist for sure. So when I think of summer, I think of beaches and fun and adventure and romance and lighthearted. I mean, there can be some drama too because of the adventure part, right? But you know, there's a lot of beaches going on 
and today we'll be visiting a lot of summer type places. We'll be visiting Greece and we'll be visiting, oh, both coasts. We'll be visiting California coast and, and the North Carolina coast. We'll be visiting Hawaii. We'll be visiting some Caribbean islands. So it'll be fun. It'll be a lot of fun. And I'm really excited about that. Oh, as well as Catskills. So all of those things will be part of what I put in here. So maybe you already have some ideas just with those places in in mind, but here we go. I have a lot of really pretty blue washi tape going on here that just has the color of summer and the sea and all of that goodness. And I think it'll blend well with the, um, looks like the little starfish going on. I don't think that's what that is. It looks like a flower now that I'm looking at it. <laughs> I saw starfish, but that's okay. So um, this one is really cute. It has some sunglasses on it and it was sent, it was made by Planny Thing. Oh, it came out in one of her summer boxes and I really like that. I'm gonna put this right at the top because I think that will really set our summer off. I'm gonna turn this upside down so I can get a better handle on what I'm doing here. And I'm gonna place it right here and I'm gonna place it to where I'm not cutting off a sunglasses here by the decorative edge. That is one of my favorite colors for sure. Let's cut this off just right there. And I'll use my handy llama card. I think this will tear nice if I press it hard enough. And it does, oh my gosh, already that looks cute. Let's go ahead and do this other side. Don't wanna get confused there, right? <laughs> So on this side, I wanna make sure I don't lose my sunglasses. And I can also then decide, I like this one right here, I wanna make sure that one's on the side. So we'll set this here and just trim it off. And I'll cut this to make it easier. Okay, so far so good. At the bottom, I have this one here. I like this one too, but I think I'm gonna use this one because it has some scallops in it. These scallops are really pretty and they kind of are giving me ocean sea waves vibes. And that's what we'll be using it for. I'm gonna place it right here at the bottom and the bottom of our page, it's kind of like an ocean because summer is all about the ocean, right? Oh, that's cutting nicely. Trim this with my scissors. And we'll go ahead and do this side as well. Excellent. Oh, I think that looks really cute. I have three plain washies here. I think I'm gonna go with the blue. Um, I'm going to add, this is going to help block off some sections because I need a section for activities and a section for books, and a section for movies, and a section for TV shows. So um, we're just gonna do this. I'm just gonna see if I can rip this. Oh, that ripped okay. That looks fine. So we'll go ahead and do it on both sides here. I'm doing it just under this disc punch and uh, you'll see a reason as we get going here. Okay, so this is my washi so far. Oh my gosh, that's just gorgeous. This is one of my favorite colors, love it. And I think we're gonna talk books first. Did I already say that? I don't know, but here we go. So <laughs> I have all of my book covers here that I printed off and I'm super excited about this and I want to arrange them. So let's just see, okay, first of all, let me show you these book covers. How cute is that? So I just get these book covers off of by googling them or you can go on to even Amazon and pull the book up and then just capture the book cover. I print them on well I'm using sticker paper but you can print them on cardstock or paper or even photo paper if you want because you can tape them on but I have sticker paper here so I'll be putting them on with sticker paper and I wanted these all to be a consistent size so I size them all to be one and a half inches tall. So however wide they end up being after that, that's fine. So that's how I went ahead and did that. But isn't that cute? Okay, 
let's figure out how we want to place these in here and uh, then I'll kind of talk about them a little bit as we go. I have a few different types of books in here because when I think of summer, I think of romance and I think of um, adventure and I think of fun and like rom-com for sure. I think of island, um, I think of cozy mystery. So. That's kind of what I have going on here. So let me kind of play with these around a little bit and uh, then we will get them put down. Okay, I think I like the way this looks. So I'm gonna put them a little crooked and I'm gonna put them in the water like they're, like they're having fun, they're floating, right? They're floating in the water, but I think that fits. That fits really well. And I think the color palette is really nice. Now, these are books that I have. Either I have physical copies of these books or I have them on my Kindle. Uh, one of them I do have on the way and we'll get to that as we go. But let's go ahead and start putting them down and talking just briefly about each one. The first book here is The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. And I've had this book for a while, but I have not read it yet. What's nice is that I have this in paperback, which also gives me real summery vibes for sure, right? Reading paperbacks, for sure. So this follows, uh, I think it's Olive and Ethan. It's kind of enemies to lovers book. They are part of a wedding. So she's the maid of honor for her sister's wedding and he's a groomsman in the wedding. And again, they're kind of enemies. There's some food poisoning situation that happens in the wedding. The sister can't go on her honeymoon. And she says, you two just go because you're the only people not sick <laughs> here at the wedding. Something of that nature. So they have to go and they have to pretend because this wedding was part of a, I think, she, I think her sister had won this uh, honeymoon package. So they have to pretend they're the honeymooners. So they go on this uh, unhoneymoon. And this one takes place in Hawaii, which is really, really cool. I'm really looking forward to reading that one. The next one is a Taylor Jenkins read book that I've had for a while. I actually have this one, I think, on audiobook, but um, I do want to get the hard copy from Book of the Month. And it's Malibu Rising, and it follows the Riva family, who um, they're a family of, I think they're professional surfers. And it happens, so this is the coast of California, right? So it's a Malibu beach house and it's their annual end of summer party and this Riva family gets together and by the end of the night, so the book takes place this whole night, secrets have been revealed, chaos has happened and the Malibu beach house is burned down. So that sounds exciting, right? <laughs> so I'm looking forward to reading this one for sure. The next book is the one book that I don't have yet, but look at this cover, doesn't that? just scream summer to you. Look at all those tropical vibes and there's even a parrot. Love it. So this is a classic, of course, and it's Treasure Island. And this is the book I'm waiting on. It'll come and when it comes, I'll, I'll show it because it's part of the Wordsworth Collector's Editions and they're such cute books. It's by Robert Louis Stevenson and it is definitely all about adventure and pirates and buried treasure and a map and the whole thing. And it follows uh, our young lad, Jim, who his mother, um, she runs some type of, she runs an inn of sorts. And uh, he finds this map from this Captain Flint who is just notorious. And he goes on this treasure finding. So pirates, treasure, sea, water, all the things. Yes, definitely summer fun vibes. And I'm really looking forward to reading this classic and to getting this, uh, collect this collector's edition, which is really fun. They're not expensive either. And I have two others that I, that I did pick up for spring and they just look really pretty together. So I can't wait to share that with you when I get it. Okay, on to the next book, which is Live and Let Chai. So this is our cozy mystery, and it's kind of fun because this is book one in a series of seven of the Seaside Cafe Mysteries. It's written by Brie Baker, and you know, who doesn't want a little cozy mystery fun going on in the summer, especially when it involves a seaside cafe that's a, that that does a lot of tea. Yeah, sounds like fun. So this takes place uh, in the coastal um, area of New North Carolina, and um, I think her name is Everly, and she 
opens up a seaside cafe and again tea is the thing and then a body is found on the boardwalk and the body has some of her tea next to him so of course Everly becomes the prime suspect because clearly that's how it has to go right so it just sounds like fun it sounds like lighthearted, kind of fun cozy mystery situation and I'm looking forward to reading this because if I like it there are six more books in the series which will be really awesome okay our next book is Vacation Wars by Megan Quinn and this is a fun book I have this on my Kindle and it takes place in Santorini so we have some grease starting to happen here and this is definitely some family friends fun and it follows Tessa and Miles I think his name is Miles and Tessa's family has vacationed in Santorini you know every year and so you you go through her growing up and noticing Miles who works in this resort that they're in and she's always kind of spotted him so there was always kind of this uh, crush happening well we also find out that Miles has noticed her too so all through the years this all has happened now Tessa is really funny because she's very awkward and I just love that I love that about this how awkward she is in these social situations it's really fun and she's there with her sister's wedding as well as two other friends and then what happened is they have come up with this contract that they signed and had notarized back when they were in high school that uh, by the age 30, I think it was, or something of that nature, they all had to have somebody. So, so far, everybody has somebody except Tessa. And so the friends are all determined that they're going to find someone for her, and she does not want that to happen. So this is how her and Miles start uh, getting together because he starts helping her not find somebody with a friend. So you know how that's going to turn out, right? So it's it's been kind of fun. Definitely been kind of fun. Okay, we're moving along. Let's get to the next one, which is Beach Read by Emily Henry. So, you know, who doesn't want a summer without an Emily Henry? I don't think I said that right. Who wants a summer without Emily Henry? Not me. I do. I want a summer with Emily Henry. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Because she writes the summer beach read type books, which is what that says, beach read, definitely. So this follows two writers, Augustus and January. And Augustus, he writes literary fiction. In January, she writes romance. So they are kind of polar opposites, so to speak. And they both are staying in neighboring beach houses. And I'm not sure where this beach house is but they are in a beach house so we have a beach involved here and they both end up having some writer's block and i guess through whatever they decide to switch who's writing what so january who writes romances is going to write some literary fiction and augustus who writes literary fiction is going to write some romance so i can think some fun stuff is going to happen from that so that sounds like a great read too and we're visiting a beach house for sure. Very beachy, Emily Henry, very fun. Oh, Elin Hildebrand, Winter in Paradise. This is a series of three books that I picked up, uh, I don't know, earlier this year, this past year, but I picked it up and this is Winter in Paradise. Now, this is not a summer book, but it takes place in the Caribbean island of St. John, which I think is probably always summer. And this will give me my like Christmas in July type vibes because it's winter in paradise, right? So this one is listed as a contemporary fiction, but it's kind of, I think, has a mystery, so to speak. So it follows Irene and her two grown sons. So Irene and her husband, John, she finds out, is his name John? No, it takes place in the island of St. John. That's why I think that. So it takes place in the island. So they live in the U.S. somewhere, and I'm not, I don't remember where, but they live in the U.S. And she gets this phone call that uh, her husband was killed in a plane crash um, over the island of St. John. And so she takes her two adult sons and they all go to the islands to try to figure out what happened because there's a lot of questions going on about what was going on. And while they're there, she finds out 
that uh, he has been leading a secret life. So what is that? I don't even know. But there's three whole books about it. <laughs> and this is the first one. So I'm excited about that because you get some island vibes going on. But we have it kind of in the winter. And um, in July, I plan on doing some Christmas in July videos because I love doing that. So that will be fun for sure. Okay, our last book here is One Italian Summer by Rebecca Sorrell. And this takes place, well, in Italy, because it's one Italian summer, right? So that should be fun right off the bat. And this is a contemporary fiction. And this follows Katie and her mom, Carol, um, has passed away. And I know that doesn't sound very lighthearted to begin with, but her mom, Carol, has passed away. And Carol wasn't just her mom, but she was also her best friend. And they had always had a dream of visiting uh, Positano and the Amalfi Coast together and since her mom passed away they can't do that but it was a place that I guess her mom had gone to quite often or in her youth had gone so Katie goes there on her own to follow in the footsteps of where her mom had been and in the process she kind of runs into her younger mom self. So I don't know how that works out, but I'm very intrigued by it. I have this as a book. I got this from Book of the Month. It's really pretty and Italy is really fun. But um, the audiobook is read by Lauren Graham, who is Lorelai Gilmore, which is very cool too. So I may want to pick that up just so I can hear her voice in the matter. But um, yeah, these are the books. Let me get my header for this. So this will be my summer books section. And I have these words separated so that you can separate them if you want, or you can put them together, or you can put them up and down. Now I have a lot of other books that I do wanna read this summer. So these aren't the end all, but these will all give me those summer vibes, right? So let's put this over here, summer books. Yes. So if I want to really get those vibes going on, I can uh, go down here and pick one of these to read. Okay, super fun. Let's pull this sheet out next so we can start to uh, see how this is going to turn out. I built this to fit right here. So six inches by six inches um, gives you a place where you can kind of put it right in the middle of your page and then you can flip it. So I have extra space to put things and some spaces here. So I'm gonna set this right here. I'm gonna pull in this big sticker book. This is seasonal and we have spring here and we got summer here. And I love these giant stickers. And I wanna put it right on here because it says hooray for summer and it has all the summer things. So let's see if we can get this sticker up here. So when you're pulling um, some of these clear, especially stickers off, and they have a lot of jagged edges, you've got to be careful. There, I got it. When you pull them. Now, this is a clear sticker. And I know this has some design on it, but I kind of want it on this side. So I think it'll work. I think it'll show through as sparkles. What do you think? Okay, well... Oh yeah, I think it works. Look, it's just all sparkly. <laughs> that looks really cute. Okay, let's move this aside. And let's flip this over. And we move this ahead up here a bit and start working on this side of it, where is where I'm going to house my spring movie ideas. Now, this is just an idea list. So I am going to put three movies down that will all give me spring vibes when I'm ready for it. So I'm trying to stay um, underneath the disc lines here. These uh, sticker strips or washi strips are six inches so they will fit perfectly. There we go. And I'm going to put one down at the bottom too. I really think these are fun. I think they're super fun to play with in the planner. So I'm going to put this down here to help decorate it. Yes. Look at that. So there are a lot of movies that um, give me summer vibes for sure. A lot of movies. In fact, I had trouble narrowing some of these down, but I want some movies that I know I'm going to watch or that is fun or that um, are just kind of special. So I'm going to put this up here. Summer. And then movies. 
So again, I'm just gonna put three. So I'm gonna use these. Now, this is hooked together as one, and these are all individual. And they're sized to fit uh, one and a half in your Happy Planner too, so this is fun. Um, I wanna make them go all the ways, right? And we'll put this one like this. Maybe I need to move one over like that. Just a touch. Summer movies. I mean, summer is made for movies, right? I will get this not crooked. <laughs> Definitely made for movies. Okay. So when I think of summer movies, I think of fun and beachy and music and uh, family vacations. And I think that uh, these, these should work out. Oh, I think of adventure too. In fact, let's write that one first because this movie's coming out this summer. It's coming out very soon and we already have tickets to go see it. So I'm gonna write this down. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Oh my gosh, we're so excited. We do. We already have our tickets. We're going on July 1st. <laughs> so we have it there. Our theater also just recently played uh, Indiana Jones, the first movie, Raiders of the Lost Ark, in the theater. So we went and saw that too. And it was super exciting and super fun. And that is so adventure-y. And I don't know. It's very summery to me. And I'm super excited about that. The next movie that I always think of in the summertime, of course, this is also one of my favorite movies, and it's Mamma Mia, right? Mamma Mia. I mean, I can't say that without singing the songs. Oh my gosh, such a fun movie with Meryl Streep and Amanda Seyfried and so many others in the cast that is super fun. Takes place on an island in Santorini, so we have Greece going on. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. All the water, all the vibes. So um, if you haven't seen it, Amanda's character is about to get married and she doesn't know who her real father is, but she finds some diaries from her mother and finds that it could be one of these three men. So she invites all three men to the wedding. So she's trying to figure out who her father is. So yeah, that's the story. <laughs> Super fun. Highly recommend it. And the last one, I wanted to pick a movie on here to get into that fun family vacation -y vibes. And there's so many to choose from. And I went back, back, back in, in, my, uh, in my roots here. And I am picking this one. And it's The Great Outdoors. I think it was made in like in the 80s, the late 80s, like 88 or something like that. But it is super fun. And it is Dan Aykroyd and John Candy. And Dan Aykroyd takes his family on this uh, camping trip in a cabin by a lake. And lo and behold, who shows up but John Candy and his family. They're related. I think through the sisters are related. And so there's this madcap family fun, the dynamics going on. And there's lakes and there's a eating contest and a bear and it's just it's fun it's fun and I love it and when we used to go to uh, Universal Studios Hollywood the backlot tour used to go by the great outdoors house all the time and we were always like oh there's the great outdoors house there it is <laughs> I don't know if it still does that but yeah we love this movie so these will give us some great summer vibes if I want to grab a movie that does that but there's a lot of movies right there's a ton of movies but these are three that I definitely will be probably looking at this summer so let's pull this book in a bit here. Let me move this over. There we go. And um, I'm gonna use some of these to put next to the movie so when we watch it, I can mark it off. And let's pull a green one. So these are cute, they're like bullets, but these are little flowers, right? So let's do great outdoors in this color. Let's put it over here because I saw something that I think I want to put over there. Oh, we need to do this blue color for Mamma Mia for sure. Mamma Mia needs to be this blue color. Absolutely. And then Indiana Jones. Um, let's give it this red color. These are all great summery, summery fun colors. And I kind of marked that off as we see it. But I saw something here as I was flipping. Look at this. Uh, yeah. 
Well, let's put the palm tree. I want that flamingo though. <laughs> but um, this palm tree has nothing to do with the gray outdoor. I don't care. It's summer, right? It's summer. Let's put the palm tree over here because I want to put the flamingo too. I mean, is it too much? Uh, I don't know. I think it's fun and festive. Who doesn't want flamingos on your page? Look at that. <laughs> Super fun. Let's bring this orange bring on the summer fun sticker and put it right down here because that is some fun stuff. And I saw a sun. Let's put this sun. I want it over here, but I think, yep, yeah, let's just put it right here. Yes. Okay, super cute. This is going to look nice on our page. And it's going to be right here. And then you'll be able to flip it like this. And there's our summer movies. Oh my gosh, super cute. Let's do our summer TV shows next. So I have these colorful retro TVs that we'll be using over here. And I'm going to pick three television shows that I can reach for when um, I want those summery vibes going on. And I'm going to put this up here to kind of give it a space. So we'll trim it there and right here. This is summer movies. This will be summer TV shows, which I have right here. So summer TV shows, just like so. These uh, televisions are really cute, and these this is the colorful. So there's six that are one, one and a half inch wide, and then there's these smaller ones too. I'm going to use three of these, and I definitely want an orange one. And I think I'll take this blue one since we have a lot of that blue going on and really like this green. Let's do that. Let's do these colors. So I'll put one down here like so. Oh my gosh, these TVs. Look at that. So much fun, right? And I'll put one kind of right here and then one kind of right here actually. No, I like that. Let's let's just leave it be. Let's just leave it be, right? Like that. Okay. Super fun. And I have three v three TV shows in mind. One of them is just part of the season <laughs> because it's the only part that's really summery. Although the whole show is really good. Actually, we should do that one first. And I'll write that down here. And it's, we're going to the Catskills, and it's The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. This is, Mar The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel is such a great show anyway, but the entire Catskills situation is so much fun. And let me uh, write the seasons here. Actually, for this one, I'm gonna write episodes. I have a little bit smaller pen, so episodes. I'm gonna write season two right here. And it's episodes uh, four through six. So I think there's three episodes that they're actually in the Catskills. This, sh this show is hilarious. So let me get something. And we'll pull these flowers in and put one for each of the episodes. Well, let's just pull these here. So the Catskills, oh, those are big. That's okay. We'll do yellow too. Um, it's kind of like a, it's like a, it, it's the Steiner Resort. It's kind of in the mountains by a lake. It's like summer camp for families and adults. <laughs> With coordinated events and things happening. And I absolutely love all three of these episodes of Mrs. Maisel. And it's a very summery vibes for sure. So if you haven't watched Mrs. Maisel, I mean, definitely watch it. It's a really fun show. Um, but uh, if anything, revisit the Catskills, and that'll give you some great summer vibes for sure. The next show is a new show for me, and I'm pretty excited about it. And it's called The Durrells. Um, and it, it's a family, it's done by the, I think, PBS Masterpiece Theater, but it's on Prime right now. There's four seasons, 
and it is masterpiece so it reminds me when it first opens you get that do 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 that masterpiece song makes you feel like you're watching something important just like uh, Downton Abbey makes you feel like you're very studious and this is really close to the edge so let me see if I can get seasons good and there's four seasons to this so let me talk about this while I start pulling some of these out and it follows this family it's a mother these are pretty big I don't know how I'm gonna fit these in but we'll figure it out and her I think it's her four children and they are struggling in England and they decide to move to Corfu which is this island um, off of Greece in Greece and it's all about their family and they move into this home and they start meeting people. I've watched the first episode, it was really cool. It gave me a lot of Under the Tuscan Sun vibes, if you've seen that movie. Uh, they move in, they get into this house situation and people are already starting to kind of help them out. And you know, it's grease and there's the water and it's just gorgeous. And I'm really excited about watching this because it's a new show for me and I love those type of, you know, dramas that are also kind of lighthearted and fun. And uh, it, it's kind of a, it's kind of it's that British vibes too, which I don't know, I just love all that. So the Durrells is something I'm really looking forward to getting into some more. So there's four seasons, so I can mark these off, you know, as I finish a season in my episodes. Okay, the last one. I'm really excited about this one. This show gives all of the Caribbean island vibes and mystery at the same time. Oh, so excited. And it's called Death in Paradise. Have you seen it? We've watched a few episodes uh, a few years ago and it was, it's just, I love it because it gives all of those islandy vibes and it's a mystery. So Rod and I love watching mysteries. We like all the Columbos. We like watching Monk. Uh, we like watching, um, what was the new one that just came out? Was it Poker Face? That was really good. So we love all these mysteries. You know, you have the uh, Murder, She Wrote type of things and that stuff. So this is Death in Paradise, and it takes place on a uh, Caribbean island of St. Marie, which isn't a real island. It's filmed in uh, Guadalupe, uh, which is a string of islands in the Lower Antilles, I think, in the Caribbean. But it follows a detective inspector who was sent from London to this Caribbean island to solve a murder. And uh, it is a. And once he solves the murder, they decide to keep him there because they need a de they need someone in charge of their police department. He's a detective inspector, and it's an entire fish out of water situation, which is really fun. So he's only on there a few seasons, and then uh, they get a new detective. But it but. Again, every week on this island, there's a murder and they have to solve it. And I absolutely love this. Now, to watch it, though, um, it is not easily found here with unless you have the right streaming service. So it's on BritBox, which I think we might do just for the summer. Do I even think we can watch all 12 seasons? I don't know, but... I'm going to start putting them down here. I did it. Oh my gosh. I got 12 on there. <laughs> That's really fun. But that'll give me a place to mark down when I'm watching things. So I'm pretty excited about this. Let's move on to some summer activities. We will start with this barbecue party situation. It's a pretty big sticker. And I like it. And we're going to put it right here because, yeah, that's very summery, right? Definitely. Definitely. Barbecue party. We have a big barbecue. That's kind of fun. Over here we have some barbecue items too. We actually have like the hamburger and the hot dog and the things. I kind of like that. That barbecue there might be a little big. But I like this. I like this situation. I like the hamburgers and the hot dogs. <laughs> right? It just seems like fun. Barbecue party. Let's do that. Let's just take this ginormous barbecue and stick it in here. Right here. Yes. <laughs> that looks delicious. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we're just going for it. 
Let's get some of these other ones. I really like this, let's go to the lake. So let's pull this one. Let's see, what am I gonna put with this? So let's pull this, put these two together. Let's put this happy little sun right here. Super fun, right? Let's put our um, lake umbrella right here. And let's go to the lake right here. I need room uh, for some words. <laughs> which I think I should put in before I put my last one in. So let's do that really quick. I'm gonna title my page first, Summer Vibes. So let's put this right up here like this. And I'll put vibes over here on the other side. Yes. And then Summer Activities. This is, I need room for this. And this it might come in handy having these separated. So let's do our summer activities like this. I'll go a little cattywonky with it. Excellent. And I think I wanna do the sweet tea and sunshine because I can put this up by the sun. And it's gold foil, so it really kinda of works up there, right? Sweet tea and sunshine, yes. There's, there's also over here, I know this isn't tea, but, Okay, let's move this. <laughs> that happens always. So um, these are removable stickers, so that's nice, the ones that come from my shop. Um, I'm gonna put this big cup of lemonade right over here for no reason other than I like it. And now I can put the summer activities in, like so. Okay, I think this will be fine. There, summer activities, super, super cute. Let's take these sunglasses and kind of put them right here. There we go. Nice. And let's just stick these little guys right over here, just to peek out from here, to bring the design across. Yes, oh my gosh, I think we're done. I think we're done. Let's go ahead and get the planner. So I have my new creative journal here and I'm going to go in the front fun section where I have my movie tracker and I'm gonna put it right in the front here because it's summer and this is what's happening right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here. Um, I think this is super cute and is a great place for some summer inspiration to get those vibes going on. And this goes in just like so, that way, when you're looking at it, you can flip it like that and see the summer movies. So I have a few summer activities to kind of think about. I have definitely some summer books with some great vibes going on. And then we have our summer movies and TV shows that I have to look forward to. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. I used some Happy Planner stickers along with stickers from my Etsy shop, the Summer Vibes bucket list, the film strips and the retro TV stickers. I'll put a link down below to my Etsy shop if you're interested in these stickers. If you use the code OHELLO15, you'll get 15% off your order, which is always fun. What's also fun are all these vibes. Let me know down below what summer vibes do you have for TV shows? Do you have any recommendations? Any summer movies that you love? How about some books? I would love to hear about that along with some activities. I would love to hear from you down below in the comments. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you have a magical day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.